All right, hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Rhino Meister GC. This is EA Sports 2023 Road to the Frickin' Masters. Um, week 15, we're still career mode, as you can see. Our handsome uh, golfers on the screen. Uh, French Championship. This is the current, the current and final round that we're going into for this. Um, I don't think we're in the lead. I don't think we're doing not too bad. But we got a lot of we got a lot of ground to catch up to. Hopefully, uh, see if we can do anything well in the last round. So, as you guys know, hit the like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are absolutely awesome. And uh, let's uh, jump into the fourth round and um, see where we end up. Round four. We're at currently at minus six. Uh, the leader is at minus 17, so we have a, we have a long way to go. <laughs> EA Sports and the PGA Tour, so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Champions Course at Evian Resort, it's live final round coverage of the French Championship. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face, trying to string four solid rounds together, trying to best mother nature and this course, and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard. On top, it's Tony Finau. He leads the pack at 17 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer playing out the string, trying to finish this tournament on a high note. And that's a good way to start this final round. It's in the fairway at the first. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 105 yards left to the hole. Pin about medium depth, though it is on the left side. Oh, no, stop, stop, there we go. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. 14 feet to the hole. Oh. Mm, good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. Hmm. Safely in. It's a par here at first. And he'll remain at six under par. This is one of the best sights you will find on this Alpine golf course. Coming back down the hill at the 163 yard par three second. Beautiful views of Lac Le Mans and Switzerland in the distance. But focus on the task at hand with such a steep drop. It's best to take at least one or two fewer clubs to try and massage this onto the green. Oh, nice. There we go. Now let's just see what we got here. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you damn think? Damn, damn. I certainly do. It was so, damn. so good. That finished off for par here with the second. And he'll stay right where he is. Onward now to the 355 yard par four third. It is drivable for long hitters, but very difficult to hold this long but narrow green.
Uh, nice. Whew. So no real problems here with the lie. It's his second from that first cut. Good chance at one. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Ten foot putt left. There we go. Okay, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at three. And that's going to get him to one under for the round and seven under now for the tournament. Well, a narrow shoot flanked by trees means we are at the 431 yard par four fourth fairway sloping left to right towards Lake Geneva. A wayward tee shot to the right will find the trees and OB markers. A drive down the left will roll towards the center of the fairway. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. One of the toughest approach shots we'll have here at Evian on a sloping fairway. We're on the side of the mountain to an elevated green, so really you have to have a high ball flight. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Birdie putt now moving to his right. Bird. Oh, good run going here early. This is birdies at three and four, and he gets it to two under for today's round and eight under for the tournament. Next up, the 187-yard par three fifth. Water guarding the front and right of the green, so club selection to carry that hazard is paramount. Left side of the green is where you want to be. This is straight at it. It's a really good line. Yeah, solid shot right there, and it'll be a good look at birdie here at number five. Twelve feet still to go. Oh, got it there, that. but not quite on target. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he's going to remain at eight under. Here now at the 406 yard, par four sixth. A slight draw off the tee will follow the contours of the hole and give best access to the green on your approach. You have to avoid the two fairway bunkers on the left. Ah, uh, you can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee right down the middle. 
Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, and position A has been found in the fairway, but this next part of the challenge is a creative one because there's plenty of slopes you can work with on this green. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Bertie. Bertie putt coming up. Down to Noda. Well, in all things considered, he's in pretty good shape. Coming back up the slope, working slightly to the right. Oh, just played it. online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll remain right where he is. Onward to the first par five at Evian Resort, the 559 yards, seventh. Narrow tee shot opening up to a fairway with bunkers on the right. It is gettable in two, but you have to be sure you can carry three bunkers short and right of the green. Otherwise, a layup should leave a short iron into the putting surface. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Not too bad. Uh, and that second shot on this par five, it just came out too low. Came out like a bullet. That first bounce, it wasn't going to stop. Second bounce wasn't going to stop and just ran over the back. Wow, a little, a little too much still left. This will be a 14 foot putt here. Missing this pie. Just gonna sneak on by. Uh, par. Ooh, this might be a dangerous par. There we go. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll stay right where he is. Yet another par three here on the front side at Evian. This eighth hole is a little bit longer at 211 yards. You can see that green is really skinny, so you have to be dialed in off the tee. And I think that may have surprised him. That carried much further than he anticipated. The strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just wasn't really hit hard enough. Time. Pretty good effort, but yeah. it will wander a couple of feet by. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. I'm not bogey. Yeah. That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And that'll drop him back down to seven under. 
Yeah, you're licking your chops here at this par 5 ninth. Just 524 yards with a good drive in play in that fairway. You absolutely have a great opportunity to get home in two, get close, and maybe even make an eagle three. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, and it's an inviting second shot, the pin all the way back. If you land this ball at the front of the green, coming in with a slightly longer club, you've got a good chance of chasing it all the way back there. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And that will mean it's a 34 on the front side, one under par. Well, you always like a hole where you have to make a little bit of a decision. Here we are at the 10th, it's 412 yards. You can see it's a dog leg to the right. Comfortable with your driver? Well, you might want to try and just blow it over the trees on the right side. You want to play it safer? Pull out the three wood put it in play, you'll still have a relatively short iron into the green and still a chance to make a birdie. There's two schools of thought here. Bomber driver down there, but perhaps have an awkward yardage. We'll hit the three wood and have a full iron here. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, done well to find the fairway here at 10, but beware, this green, it's very, very wide, but it's shallow. It's shaped a bit like a Yeti's footprint. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. Iona, this a birdie putt. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. Sensational. What a putt there from a long way out. That somehow goes down for a birdie. And that's going to move him to eight under. This is a fun driving hole right here. The par 4 11th at 352 yards. It's uphill at dog legs to the left. And yes, if you're one of the bigger hitters, you actually have a chance to knock it on here. But you absolutely have to pulverize this one, draw it around the corner, and keep it out of those five bunkers on the right side.
Yeah, if you see shortish par fours like this, it's a great time to bring out the irons, and that is going to work out well. Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. He's got 141 to the hole, pin in the back. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. So that, rushed in for par here at 11. And he'll remain right where he is. Par 4 12th is not overly long at 437 yards. Again, this is kind of a driver's hole, so to speak. If you can carry those bunkers on the left side, you're going to have a short flip into this green and another good chance at birdie. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. From the left side of this fairway, he'll look over his second. Here we go. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Oh, come on. Oh, right by the wow. hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll stay nope. right where he is. I don't think we can do this. Here now at the longest par four of the course, the 503-yard 13th. Dog leg left with bunkers on either side of the fairway. A miss left off the tee will make it almost impossible to hit the green in two. So right to right center of the fairway is where you want to be. That one's going to hit hard. Get a little bit of run out, and that is going to wind up just fine. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. It's a beautiful tee shot, taking full advantage of the kick you can get down this fairway. It's fast, it's got a lot of fire in its belly, and now we've got a great look at the green. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Two factors to consider here. First of all, breaking from left to right, and it's going to be pretty quick back down this hill. Crap. <laughs> I think that would have been it. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And he'll remain right where he is.
Coming up on the longest par three on the course, the 244 yard 14th. Elevated tee looking down on a green protected on the right by three bunkers. Wind can be a factor here, so club selection is critical. Okay, that one passed the hole just a bit, but a birdie try up coming. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close. Not quite dead from there. That is a good distance short. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And he'll stay right where he is. Up next, the 529-yard par 5, 15. Narrow fairway sloping right to left. Demands an accurate tee shot. Long hitters can reach in too, but beware that bunker guarding the front of the green. And that will do just fine. Iona, a second coming up. A uh, wonderful drive, and now looking at a second shot that you've got to throw up the right half. There's no question about it. Carry those two fairway bunkers. That's your main objective. Hmm, that's a long run. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good too long sadly oh, just missed it just six feet left for the birdie ah yes never in doubt it's a birdie here at 15 and he's worked it to nine under par. What a good looking hole this is as we begin our closing stretch. The 16th is just 151 yards. Elevated tee. You look down on that green, you see the two bunkers on the back. The mistake you don't want to make, it's obvious. That small pond on the left. And again, if the winds are swirling and they can here, it can be a tricky club selection. This might be close. No, oh, we're gonna roll that off. Onto the path. Past the path. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Good save. I think we're okay here. Par, hopefully. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And it'll stay at minus nine.
The 17th here at the Evian Resort, a shortish par four coming in at only 335 yards. But before you take out the big stick to go for it, keep in mind, you'd need to play a pretty hard left to right because those trees on the right-hand side are awfully difficult to clear. Hold on a second. Drive it. Yeah, let's let's really crank it around. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. And it's a solid start to the 17th. Good tee shot opening up the green all the way uphill, so be careful that you've got enough club. Oh, no. Where's it going? Okay, we're good. You're on. Nobody's happy after that shot. Oh, I mean, that was uh, one up from disastrous, really. Apparently the game can't figure I was gonna say can't figure out where we're supposed to be putting. Mm, yeah, tough to know just how far out to the right to play that one. I mean that was not far enough. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll remain right where he is. We close our round here at Evian with the 478-yard par 5, 18. Definitely a great chance to get home in two, but you must carry the water guarding the front of the green. If you can pull that off, an opportunity to finish the round with a birdie or an eagle is in the offing. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Iona a second coming up. And it's an excellent tee shot, but now it's a risk and reward approach as we look to that water which sits in front of the green, so no margin to miss this short. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Man, but that one had to feel good. It struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Oh, come mm. on. That's going to scoot a foot wow. or two by. I don't trust that putting guiding thingy. It's just no. All right. There it is. Okay, it's a nice finish, a birdie at 18. And this will be a strong final round score of 67. Well, that'll wrap it up for us today. We saw a lot of great golf, Frank. Yeah, the course was good. It was gettable for some. But, uh, you know, in the end, it really gave you what you deserve, just the way we want it. And that'll do it for our entire team. I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time. All right. We did it. We didn't do too well. We did play a decent round. Honestly, uh, I, I think it was my second round that we screwed up, or third round. The front third round or the second round completely. Um, first round, we did terrible at the first first nine. Um, so we didn't make it. So let's see what our next tournament is. A little up.
state of our uh, career here, our golfer level. All right, let's see where we're going. Wells Fargo Championship. That is the next one we're going to at Charlottetown or Charlotte, North Carolina. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that other fun stuff. We'll see you guys in the next championship round. Zoom. See you in the next round.